Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Sanket, and you are watching Sanket's Brush. And today I am going to show you how to create mesh based parallax oxygen mapping or mesh based bomb. You can say I already made two videos on it, but they were so confusing. So, this is my third take, and I hope this will go well. Basically, we use the parallax occlusion mapping for illusion of 3D objects on plane surface. So first of all, you have to create a stack of layers of plane. Okay, this is a little bit wrong. Uh, I mean, these are the 50 layers and not over 100. Let me just uh, correct it. So first of all, I created a 50 layers of plane mesh, and after that, I converted the position of vertices of these plane from x c y because y is our uh, vertical direction in godot i converted this vertex position to color rgb uh, and let me show you how i created this so here is our shader i used visual shader so it will be easier to understand this is our vertex input basically position of vertex input we are multiplying it with height strength don't worry about this thing here this is just to adjust the height as you can see if i change the height strength which is here height strength basically what is happening is height of vertices is changing let me show you by putting it instead of on color i'll put it on vertices and now as you can see our height is changing here we are uh, taking the value of position of vertices through color to our fragment shader and this color for uh, vector for color is from is from a vertex shader and after this applying height between 0 and 1 so as you can see uh, we are getting the value as you can see this is x c y so this is our y y direction and this is 0 and this is 1 basically we are taking this value and applying it as a uh, alpha value as you can see here so this is zero uh, i mean position is zero so alpha value is also zero gradually it is increasing and at the top our alpha value is one so how i did this thing let me show you the actually the shader is same i'm just trying to explain step by step how i created this thing in vertex as you can see everything is same but in fragment shader what i did i decomposed the color value in four parts which is x y z w or you can say r g b a and took the value of y which is our vertical value to the alpha after that i just flipped the alpha value and this is the texture i just added one more node in it which is one minus which will just flip the texture any kind of texture or any kind of value after flipping the value i converted the alpha type from alpha blend to alpha flip in this shader i added a texture color ramp texture oh you cannot see wait a second let me just uh, okay okay as you can see here i added a texture named alpha clip control and i connected this value or texture to the alpha scissor threshold or in short you can say it alpha clip and after this uh, as you can see i can control the alpha value now we just have to mix this value with or you can say multiplying alpha value with height map texture this is height map texture uh, alpha value multiplied with height map texture and this is our height map texture here if i change my alpha clip control you can see the things moving from 0 to 1 okay multiplying alpha value with height texture so how i did that so in previous material as you saw i added alpha clip texture and used y position value as uv for it and now i just multiplied the texture or alpha value with our height map here you can see and made some tweaks in height map to get correct results after this changing height map scale y of mesh so here i just uh, changed the transform scale y here so this was previous 
and this is now i just changed the height applying normal maps after changing the height i added or applied normal map texture to here is our normal map texture and i applied that texture to normal map nothing complicated it's simple stuff and in the last i and finally i applied a color texture so here you can see this is our color texture as you can see i removed this this input from albedo and created new texture and added a color texture on it so yes this is how i created physical mesh based form parallax occlusion mapping so what is the use of it so i have created a little scene here first of all uh, let compare the mesh based palm versus actual palm this is how godot provides us the palm or depth effect but it have some weird effects and also it do not interact with the meshes on top of it when the meshes are hidden everything looks good it looks 3d but the effect breakdown if i put any kind of mesh on it as you can see let's compare it with our mesh based form and as you can see this is interacting with meshes it have its own shadows and we can make it infinitely big but here is one uh, there are also there are pros and cons these are the pros now i am going to show you the cons of it first of all the frame rate okay as you can see when i am using the mesh based par parallax occlusion mapping with shadows enabled it's showing me 100 frames per second and whenever i top casting shadows it is almost showing 200 and the best thing about this is i can make infinitely big texture i can do the same thing with uh, godot default parallax occlusion mapping but this is more realistic approach and now see what happens when i even if i accidentally turn on the shadows you will see significant drop in my frame rate as you can see it is 35 34 and it's so bad uh, keep in the mind that you have to turn off the shadows if you want to use this effect and yes that's it for now yes that's it for now thank you for watching the video tell me what do you thought about this technique using in godot and yes that's it so goodbye and keep making games